everyone so today we are doing a very exciting video in this video as you can see we are in a kitchen now you're probably seeing double because this looks very similar to my kitchen but this is in fact my mom's kitchen we have the same kitchen and we have the same build of house she's literally so obsessed with me I literally can't have anything my own I thought she'd hear that <laughs> She's so obsessed with me, she even copied my kitchen. But this weekend we are doing a kitchen makeover extravaganza. It's actually going to be like two episodes. Initially I was thinking it would only be one, but then I was looking into these like countertop renos and they seem really extensive and really complicated. So I kind of wanted to cover that in one full video just so I could really take time explaining it and telling you how it went and if it's worth it. So today is just going to be the countertop but then on Sunday we are going to be renoing everything by spending nothing if that makes any sense tune in Sunday for that but here is my mom's kitchen as you can see we have two different types of countertops going on here this one is actually one that she just purchased at Home Depot for the island and also painted the island base excuse me what is that what are those are those your shoes <laughs> <laughs> So in this video, we're going to be covering a lot of things because we're actually going to be doing this countertop and also this countertop. Now you may not be able to tell, but this one has a lot of texture on it. You can kind of see when the light hits it. So these are two different countertops. So we'll really have a good idea of how this like epoxy painting your counters works. Scotch tape holding my island together. Yeah, we're I gonna keep, hopefully fix this. I keep snagging. Like, I'm kind of embarrassed of like, she takes this corner fast, <laughs> you guys. This has almost come off on my pocket a zillion times. So yeah, I think this countertop will be a little bit more difficult. I've hardly even explained what we're doing in this video. Basically, I have seen some videos of people epoxying their countertops so they paint it all to look like marble and then they epoxy it and apparently it looks very similar to like granite and quartz countertops for like a small price. Now this wouldn't really be considered a super inexpensive project but in comparison to changing out for granite or quartz countertop this is way less expensive, so we'll see if it looks as good. Unrelated to the video, we're also going to be switching out the sink, mainly just because my mom has complained about this sink a lot, so I decided to pick up a different one. But the main focus is these countertops, these brown countertops, we're switching them up, getting them out of here. Hopefully they're gonna look like real marble, and this one also is going to be touched up as well. So step one of this countertop renovation is we are going to take everything off the counters and we're going to clean it with TSP. Now I was watching a lot of videos. You know what? Actually, I'm rambling so much. Let's just first get everything off the countertop. Then I'll get into more info. I just have a lot of info on this because I've been watching a million videos, but we'll get to that. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're in our outfits. Let's clear off the countertops. Let's do it. <laughs> Don't you got break. a lot of stuff on this countertop. There's too, too much stuff on this countertop. Like you gotta put some stuff away. Girl. I know. I really do. I'm so lazy. This works. Like if this turns out well, I'm going to be doing every countertop with this seriously. Oh, it looks so much better already. <laughs> Just to have the stuff off the counters. Like throw I away all your appliances. Now that the countertops are clean, we have to literally clean them. For that, I got this TSP Eco Cleaner. Now, TSP is like something you hear a lot for cleaning kitchen stuff, whether it's cabinetry, whether it's the backsplash, whether it's the countertops, because it's really good at removing grease, which obviously when you're cooking, grease is gonna be flying all over, or like oils and stuff like that. So we're just gonna spray these down and wash them up really good so that everything we put on really adheres. Strong, versatile cleaner known by professional painters as an adhesion improver for any surface to be painted. Your sink smells like a fish bowl. <laughs> <laughs> it's alarming. All right, so just gotta spray this and then let it sit for three to 10 minutes. And I guess this is gonna really do a good job at removing the grease. I removed this tape. <gasps> <The> tape. <laughs> We're moving up, Mia. I removed the 
today. Okay, so as I was mentioning in the beginning to you guys, the island countertop is flat, but this one has a lot of texture. So I'm gonna take this polyfilla, which basically I normally use it to fill holes in the walls when I'm repainting, but we tested this on like a piece of wood and it worked pretty well, so hopefully it works. And then I just have this little plastic paddle and I'm basically going to level this out in a hopes to fill all of this texture. But if I don't get all the texture, I'm hoping that the like self-leveling epoxy will fill it and level it off. But this is just for good measures. I feel like it'll make a difference. So let's try this. So you're just gonna put a little, and like you can really see it filling in the holes. Oh yeah, look at this mom. Oh yeah, that's what we want, right? So yeah. it's just like yeah. level. Just a little bit. Removing a fridge, yeah. <laughs> this thing is coming out. We're taking out the sinky. Bye, sink. I hate you. The countertops are all filled. I think that this is going to be a lot better. You can really, really see that there was a lot of speckling and holes in here. I feel like it probably would have worked without this step, but I think maybe it'll be smoother with this. But now, of course, I must sand. That's why I have my mask on, just because there's gonna be like particles going into the air and everything. It's important to wear a mask while you sand and not wear it like this. Wear it like this and tight. Here's what it looks like right now, and then you take a sanding block over it. You can see all of that dust coming off. See? Oh yeah, that. Oh my goodness, it feels so smooth. Oh, good. That's great. Oh yeah, it's really good. Feels very soft. Yeah. So then we're gonna do that all over, and it's important to get it on the edges as well, where it's a little bit thicker. Just make sure to sand that off. Like so. Oh yeah, that's really gonna be nice. Mm -hmm. And that'll be also just another step at helping the paint adhere mm -hmm. so that it won't come off. All right, so the thing filled, <laughs> the thing, the countertops <laughs> filled and then sanded and then wiped the dust off we're going to apply a primer with a roller to the whole thing, and then we're gonna try our hand at marbling. But first, the primer's gotta dry and the first coat. So basically, just painting the whole thing. So maybe we should tape it off a little bit. Sure. Sounds okay. good. Let's do the that. thing. The thing. This we're thing. working on a thing right now. <laughs> we're working on a thing. <laughs> Okay, so now that everything's taped off, we're gonna start with the primer on everything. So this is the Waterborne Bonding Primer. I already had this. This is from when I did my like pink tile table. I first primed it with this. So it's a pretty strong primer. So I'm gonna pour it in here. It's like literally like glue. And then I'm just going to roll it onto this new roller. And then we're gonna just start rolling a layer on the top and on the sides covering up this design. Ooh, I'm excited! Yeah. Your kitchen by the end of this week is going to be so much better. Wow, oh my goodness, Mom, it looks amazing right? already! Just painting it. I agree. This is no joke. Plus, I kind of like these two being the same. I do too. Yeah, it looks kind of nice. In a small kitchen, it's good to not be too, like, clashy. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I love it. Maybe one day she'll notice. <laughs> it's an hour later. My stomach is full of chicken parmesan and hummus. And now we're gonna do the white coat of paint. Perma white mold and mildew proof interior paint. Ideal for kitchen and bathroom. High moisture and high moisture areas. Coat of this we'll cover. And then we're gonna paint the veins, but we'll see. Paint the veins. Let's paint this cabinet. Oh my goodness, why? This 
countertop. <laughs> oh, this looks beautiful. It really does. guys this is the part where you just keep adding coats because the second coat we thought was gonna be it but now we're looking and we're like mm, maybe a third and then maybe it'll be a fourth and then a fifth and then a sixth and then eventually you just have to be like it's fine it's fine I can't even describe how much brighter it feels in here business you guys we're gonna try and do the painting of the veins <laughs> we're very nervous we're gonna test run in this corner where no one will see where we'll put the cop oh someone's at the door that doorbell never rings literally no one ever comes to the door <laughs> we're gonna test it over here you guys we have a picture of my countertop as a reference so if i went it, like here here and then kind of what do you think of that? Uh, if we're doing directionally this way on this counter, uh -huh. don't you think we'd want to do a continuation here? Right. Here. Oh yeah, that has to come out. <laughs> spray it? Yeah, spray quite a bit of water in there. Like that? Yeah. More? We'll try and spread it out and see what. Oh, I just want, can you get me another fat brush, please? For my, your maid. <laughs> She's my maid. That's a funny idea. Okay, so the lines, that should be good. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do a big bold one there. This is scary. We can always like change it too. <laughs> Look, it looks bad. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> the lady that I was watching the video of, she just like had a really light hand. Yeah. I don't have one of those. <laughs> Mom, that's a joke. <laughs> Ooh. It's not the exact same as the picture. <laughs> I can tell the difference between the picture and yours. <laughs> <laughs> The look of like concentration. <laughs> ah! All right, I just learned from the master. Oh now. my gosh, <laughs> that's now scary. I'm gonna try. White paint, check. Spray it, check. Mix it around, check. You've watched tutorials on this though, right? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, I've been watching tutorials on this for a while now. I'm going to start with a little gray line with this. Oh. I don't want to attack you or anything, but this vein is looking good. It's looking really good. I think like dabbing it might look, might make it look more real. I'm happy with this. Yeah. I'm gonna show you guys a little close-up of my vein I just drew. Here's what I just drew. As you can see, it looks really, really like oversaturated with water in this area, but I actually like the way that that looks. And then I was just going in and adding darker gray and then diluting it with water. I feel like that, especially from a distance, looks quite real. So I haven't done a thick one, so we'll see. How's it going? Well, <laughs> That looks good. Does it? Do you like it? Do you like my vein? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I think you're just nailing it, Mia. Thank you, Mom. Yeah. I appreciate it. I usually am like blowing this sort of thing, so this yeah. is good. serious business. I think we got the right shade of gray, mm -hmm. which I'm glad about, because there are 50 shades of gray. <laughs> oh. All right, you guys. So I feel like we've done a fair bit. I can try and give a little tutorial to anyone who may be doing this at home. First things first wet the thingy. First you're going to want to wet 
the countertop. You want to work in like sections, like no need to wet the whole entire thing because by the time you get to it, it'll probably be dry. So then you're going to put a little bit of white paint on and then just roughly blend that in, leaving it wet because the wetter it is, the easier it'll be to mix your colors on top. Okay, so now we really want to do like a dark stripe right here. So I'm just going to start us off all the way up here. Just getting the shape in there. You wanted it to be pretty thick. Then I'm gonna fill it in a little. Now that I have the color on, I'm gonna spray it. And you can already see it starts to like vein out a little bit. And now I'm gonna take a little brush with nothing on it. And I'm just gonna start dabbing that in just throughout the whole thing of what I want. And then you'll see there's like many different grays in here. 50 to be exact. <laughs> never gets old because it'd be easier to just wipe like this but I feel like stamping really makes it look better okay so now you have the color all dispersed now you want to go in with a white on a new brush like this and you're just going to basically dab that around the edges just to let it like fade out like I'm literally like why did I buy quartz countertops <laughs> This is looking so similar to my countertops. It really is. And by the way, you guys, we're just using acrylic paint for this part because it's gonna be covered by epoxy anyways and we have the white opaque base already. So it was okay to just use like any acrylic paint you can find. The dark gray again. And I'm just going to dot that throughout just to create another shade of gray. So 51 now. <laughs> Oh, I love that one. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Thank you. What do you like about it? I just, it looks so natural. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hate to say it, it looks so good. We did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> I was thinking like a rock and we made it look like rock. That's all you That's have to rock. do. That's Concent all you gotta know. Yeah. Concentrate <laughs> on rock. This kitchen already got such a huge facelift with this countertop, you guys. Like once the epoxy's on top of here, I swear this is going to look like real rock. These were like really time consuming and difficult and my back and my knees are actually going to snap off. <laughs> but like... <laughs> But seriously, there are so many beautiful- I'm just thinking, like, when we first started the video, how dark it felt, and now look how light it feels. I love the, like, really, really big veins going on mixed with the lighter ones over here. You can actually see, like, me and my mom's different styles. And I feel like it makes it look really natural, because it's not, like, perfected. It's all, like, random. It looks great. So we're just going to clean up, and then we're going to get the epoxy on. And my mom epoxy a lot I have not so I don't know how it'll go and it's a little bit difficult because we do have these back bits to epoxy too so we will see but again if we can do it you can do it better so we'll see all right you guys ten hours later we're gonna start epoxying <laughs> what's the scoop mom you're the epoxy expert well okay so I've never worked with this brand particularly but it's two parts Girl, take it <laughs> There is no fumes yet. Two parts A, one part B, mix it in the bucket. And like usually you would put a drill bit on and stir it, but we're just gonna stir it like old school with a wooden spoon. Yes, and it is very important when you're working with epoxy or resin to read about the proper safety precautions. This one is supposed to be low VOC, so you don't need like the big filter. And it's supposed to be okay for indoor use because it doesn't let off a lot of fumes. So make sure to check yours though because there are some seriously dangerous epoxy and resin Yeah, they can be really bad for you to breathe in So just make sure to check your brand. Yeah, and make sure that it's indoor safe, but we're still gonna wear masks just yeah. in case <laughs> <laughs> And because like it, you know, it doesn't hurt. We just want to And it did say you should mix each one individually before mixing them together So I'm just gonna shake it like this. Do I take this one? Yeah <laughs> Don't hurt yourself there, Mia. Oh, and we did tape off the sides of the counters 
just because we're going to let it roll off the sides and for the first hour we're going to wipe it in hopes that it'll cover over the edges. Yeah. This is our first time, we'll see how it goes and then we will be able to tell you <laughs> if you need to change anything. Okay, so two of these and one of those. Alright, let's do this. Okay. Where do you want it? Oh my goodness, yeah, it's going to pour. Oh wow. You good to carry that? Mm -hmm. You sure? Muscle? Wow, look at us. Scientists. There, great. And then one of these. Four. <gasps> okay. Wow. That's probably good, yeah, that's right? Good, I think. Nice. And usually people would mix it with a drill. So oh it has, gosh. It has to be mixed for a lot. I'll be like a drill then. <laughs> So I'll put a bit on and then you can mix it around. How about like that? that? Okay, yeah, let me try and push it around. And the video I saw said to push it around really lightly. Yeah. How's this expert? <laughs> I'm seeing things. Just hang on. What is happening to your roller? Is there something going on with that? I could just brush it on with this. Yeah. It might be better. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, because I see a little bit of green. You know. Green. Oh, I do too. Note to self, don't <laughs> use a green fluffy brush. That's why we start on this just little <laughs> tiny spot. This tiny spot that has the coffee machine. Yeah. Looks good though. Oh yeah, it looks so good. Okay. Okay. Next area. It's like getting dark as we're filming. <laughs> Clearly it's taking all day. Like that. Okay. Think that's good? Yeah, I definitely. just pushing around the epoxy all over the table. It's self-leveling, but just making sure everything gets covered and then wiping around the edges. And then we're probably gonna do one more layer before it's dried, and then we're just gonna let it dry overnight. And it's looking so good. It really is. Like it really is perfecting all of the lines we made. It's so bendy. Wow. Mom, this is actually <laughs> ridiculous how good this one looks. It really is. Like this looks like a real granite countertop. It does. All right. There we go. Second round? Yeah. All right, you guys, it's like officially dark out. <laughs> Honestly, this is going quite well. I think the epoxy is finishing it off so well. I definitely think if someone didn't see us making this video or didn't know we were doing this, they might at first glance and maybe second glance, if we're lucky, think that this is a quartz countertop because seriously, the shine is really hiding some of the little mistakes. Like it's really starting to come together really super nicely. So now we have to torch it. And like what that is for is to get the bubbles out and start the like curing setting process. So we're gonna do that. And then we're basically gonna walk around it for like 15 minutes and clean up any drips that come off the sides and then let it dry overnight. Anything to say? Oh my gosh, I love it. We have nailed this. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> my feet, like if I don't keep moving, I'm gonna be stuck to this floor. Me too. Because like... <laughs> Same. Who's afraid? Who's afraid of me with this flamethrower of swords? I'm scared. I know, this is kind of the tricky spot because you have to keep it moving or else uh, it'll burn. It'll kind of be- a... Maybe you do to start not Okay, watch. sounds good. Ah! Ah! See how it kind of like, When your mom don't think you can handle a fire tool. <laughs> do you want to do it? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm doing it. <laughs> How is it? It's perfect. Am I doing it? 
This is fun. Oh, I would laugh so hard if the, if the tape started on fire or something. How's it going? Oh, it's awesome. It is so good. Looking good. Woo! <laughs> it's late. <laughs> all right, you guys, we just went around the edges, clean up all the drips. Now we're going to leave it for an hour and then we're just going to clean up drips around it and then we're going to leave it all night long and we will see you in the morning to see how it dried. So far though, we love it. I can't even believe it. It's like, yeah, <laughs> we did it. We did it. It actually turned out good. A lot of these videos looked quite difficult, but honestly, you guys, you can totally do this from home. It is not mm -hmm. that hard. Honestly, yeah. I would tell you if it was hard. It's great and worth it. Anyways, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to pop in here really quickly because something happened off camera that I really feel like is worth mentioning for a safety precaution. So we had extra epoxy left in our bucket quite thick and it actually was like obviously having a chemical reaction and it ended up smoking, which I guess sometimes can be from the epoxy not being mixed correctly. So it's really, really important to read on your epoxy on how to dispose of it and how to let it cure if it's a thin pour or a thick pour it's just really important to pay attention to that and also pay attention to any buckets or towels or brushes that have epoxy on them because until they're cured they can be problematic with things like that i don't know if it's just bad luck for us but i just wanted to mention that just so you can be extra extra careful like i don't want your house to light on fire because of me morning we literally couldn't wait we woke up and we ran down like it was like Christmas morning <laughs> to take off all of the plastic and it is looking so nice I'm honestly so impressed we also put the sink in my dad helped us with that this morning and honestly it was a long process so I wouldn't bore you guys with it just if you're changing out the sink or putting in the same exact sink there's probably better videos from like plumbers that will show you how to do it. It's just basically reconnecting everything. But for the tile, why do I keep calling this literally everything but what it is? <laughs> the countertops. For the countertops, there are a few things that we just need to do a little bit of finishing work on. Firstly, this little thing right here is going to get covered with some silicone. And then down here, we have like a little bit of like flaking off. And actually, surprisingly, there was only one problem area when it came to epoxy pooling out and it is right here so we're going to have to sand that normally i would be more concerned about that but since we're painting the cabinets in sunday's video that's fine we'll just sand it down so we're just going to fix up those few little things so with this one right here i'm basically just going to cut off the bulk of this now i'm using a sharp tool so be careful and you're just going to go back and forth over it like this getting off the bulk of it, and then I'm going to sand down the rest. Then I'm just going to sand and even that out a little. All right, you guys, we have everything cleaned up. Take a look at the finished countertops. wanting to try painting cabinets and doing epoxy for a very long time but I'm always a little bit nervous when I watch videos and then when I do things and just trying new things in general sometimes they just turn out really badly but if I do say so myself these countertops turned out even better than I ever could have imagined like seriously I was a little bit nervous with the painting it was going pretty well but then putting the epoxy top coat just perfected everything these look like serious 
rocks. I literally can't believe it. I'm so happy with how this turned out. I definitely suggest this process to you guys if you're interested in upgrading your countertops. And if you are interested to see how this kitchen is going to be renovated in the next episode, for zero dollars. Obviously this costs money, but in the next episode it's zero dollars. Make sure to tune in on Sunday. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Mom, <laughs> are you happy with your countertop so far? I am like over the moon excited and happy with them. They turned out so good. When I see them, they look like actual marble. I can't quit looking at them. I love them so much. And you have seen nothing? Yet, we have lots planned for your oh, kitchen yeah. in the next one! <laughs>